What's up guys, so today is the day that this matured male Rosea passes away. Now, again, I always, always repeat in mature male death videos, for those who don't know, mature male tarantulas do not live very long. Now this one, I'm not exactly sure how old it actually is because my friend got it from another guy, so we aren't exactly sure when this guy matured out. But he has come to an end today. He's He's been like this in his enclosure. And I was like, what? Why isn't he moving? And then I went to move the enclosure a little bit and he's dead. And the weird thing is, this guy did not even die in a death crawl. Tarantulas, spiders, when they die, usually, right, usually their, their legs will like curl inwards like that and they'll die pretty much like that. But this guy... No, that that wasn't the case. He just decided to die like normally like that, which is not too common, but it happened as well. Now, this, like I mentioned, is a matured male Gramostola rosea, also known as the Chilean rosehair. We did pair him with both of my females. So as you can see, whoop, what the heck was that? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if my, my phone just cancelled because something came up on my screen. But yeah, as you can see, this is how you can tell if your tarantulas have pretty much matured out. You see these two pedipalps, which are pretty much the, the front legs. There will be kind of like a hook and these two things, these are what I call punching gloves, you see? They, they kind of look like punching gloves, right? The, the, the tip of it. So yeah, that is pretty much what a mature male looks like. Some mature males will have hooks, which yeah, this one does. Let me show you. So you see the, the front legs, you see this little hook over here? Yeah, over here. That is called the tibial hooks. And that is to pretty much hold up the female during mating. So it'll be less likely of her like chomping down on him. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that this matured male is dead. And it's pretty nice. I shouldn't have tried to say it. Now my hands are starting to get itchy because this is a new world. It does possess urticating hairs and it is now on my fingers. It's not that bad compared to like Nandus and Acanthoscuri and Therophosa species, but uh, it's still a little bit itchy, but it's fine. It's fine. Let me measure this. I'm actually curious as to how what the, the length of it is. Let me get a ruler over here. So if you guys are wondering how long a matured male rosea is or roseas in general, the females, I think if I'm not mistaken, I mean my females, they're not as big as the males. So this one in inches, it is about five inches as you can see. This was a very, very healthy male. A lot of males, the abdomens are like very, very skinny, but this one is a very, very healthy male. So that is a good thing. All I can say is this guy, definitely he has lived a very, very long time. And I think if I'm not mistaken, he matured out quite a while with the original owner and then passed over to my friend. And then he brought him over to pair with my females. And after the first time pairing, he he even lived like, like a very, very long time after the first time pairing. And then we tried pairing him a second time. Yeah, this guy, he lived very, very long. And unfortunately, he is gone now. And I'm going to be passing this over to my friend because he wants to ship it over back to the original owner because the original owner wants to preserve him. So yeah, I'm gonna send him back to my friend right now. If you look at like this, it looks like a live tarantula. Can you imagine if I touch it and it starts running around? Oh my gosh. But yeah, that's the... Nope, that is not him being alive, okay? That's just the legs like moving with gravity. I thought it was alive there. But yeah, anyways, this one I'll be sending him back to my friend, which only lives about two minutes from my house. So I'm just gonna drive over and pass it to him. Oh yeah, and also you guys have been wondering, you guys have been asking, what happened to that blue tarantula? Remember, Biropes Simoroxigorum? That's actually my friend's tarantula, not mine. So he actually sold it off. This is one of it. And this one is also being sold off, as you can see. Very, very beautiful. So yeah, this guy or girl, we don't actually know. I'll be passing him over to my friend again because he passed this to me for me to help him to 
pack it, but he already learned how to pack it. So I'll just pass it over back to him so he can send it to the buyer. I'm not sure why he doesn't want to keep it. It's such a beautiful tarantula, but I mean, it's his anyways. He can do whatever he wants with it. So yeah, guys, just wanted to let you guys know uh, about this one. This unfortunate, oh man, my hands are getting really itchy here. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what happened to this guy. I mean, he finally passed away after pairing with my females, both of my females, I think like three times each. So hopefully he did a good job. And then you guys have been asking for an update on this blue one. So yeah, there's your update. And you won't be seeing any more updates on this guy because he will be sent off to a buyer, to a new owner. So I'll see you guys in the next video. That'll be it for this video, pretty much. Nothing else for me to say. So yeah, stay safe. Take care, guys.